Welcome back to Unearthed Dr. Views. I'm Billy, and today I received a package that I ordered a few days ago on Thursday. And this could either be the worst decision of my life or the best decision of my life. <sighs> I'm kind of straying towards more the worst decision of my life. So, what do we have? Well, we're going to check in the switch box and see what we have for today. Oof. We have Think Geeks Ghost Pepper Candy Balls. I'm not really looking forward to this, but, you know, might as well do it. These Ghost Pepper Candy Balls have at least 140 calories, zero total fat, 1% or 25 milligrams of sodium, 35 grams of um, total carbohydrates, and uh, zero protein, and zero sugars. I'm not, I'm not liking that odd right there, zero sugars, that means this isn't going to taste sweet, I think. <sighs> so without further ado, let's get this started. So we're going to get this um, thing unwrapped. Terrible tear that terrible piss boy. Man, one little warning they give you is um, not to, after eating these, you better wash your hands because it contains the boot, the butt, I think, the butt Jocola and Trinidad Mogura Scorpion pepper. That sounds pretty intense. Let's take a nice little smell before we get into it. Oh, <coughs> God, it's, it's like, it's not like, kind of smell like Mexican candy. And since I said I don't have gloves, I'm going to use this bag to snatch one of these little out. And there it is. There is the... I wish I didn't even have this. We're going to be daring today. This. There is the candy ball. And I have um, some a nice variety of drinks here. Some water and uh, milk, so we should be fine. Oh, let's do this! It ain't so bad. Oh god. Uh huh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Ah, it's getting worse. Oh. Uh. Oh I can do this. I can do it. <coughs> I can do it. No, no, it tastes like a hot tamale. Oh, it's hot! This isn't getting better. Ugh. Why can't you give me a minute? Oh, God. <laughs> So after uh, I have some carrots and some milk, the bird is starting to kind of go away, but it's still there, lingering. Uh, so, big thing will kick your ass. It's probably a little less mild than an actual ghost pepper, but damn. What? Pretty extreme. I think you're going to a little while. <coughs> 
Yeah, they get it. It's in your mouth for a little while. Oh, so my final grade on this is, um, well, um, how do I grade it? Well, it's pretty spicy, you know. It, it starts out, you know, like any regular hot candy would, but it's really bad. I mean, that, the more and more you like, take, the more and more you take in a taste, the more and more it spreads. So it catches your own tongue on fire. It is chewy, though. I, I, I got it out of instinct. I just bit into it. So I want to get out of there. Yeah, it's chewy and it kind of takes away the heat a little bit, but after you get rid of it, um, it starts burning more. And as soon as you start chewing on it, it tastes like um, uh, hot tamales candies. That's how I start tasting like. So my final grade on this is an A. A in its spiciness and an A in it basically being a candy. <gasps> It's still stuck in my throat a little bit. Oh, so anyways, um, yeah, that was, um, that was my um, sort of taste test on these um, ghost pepper candies. The heat kind of went away. It, it lasts there for a little bit, but if you eat a few carrots and vegetables, it's gone. A few vegetables and um, milk, some water, and actually water doesn't help. Kind of, it kind of increases the pain with that. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys um, liked the video, give it a like down there if you want to see more of what I have to do. Hit the subscribe button down there, and yeah, as for me, I'll see you later. Jesus, my mouth is on fire!